Hello everybody, today I want to show you how to uh, draw Mandel Mandelbrot set in uh, C++ and uh, SDL. So Mandelbrot set it's a um, uh, thing what you can uh, read in uh, Wikipedia but uh, a simple explanation there is a starting point um, on complex uh, plane and uh, you are starting sequence from this point like uh, you have some dot in uh, complex plane and uh, you calculating next dot based on this formula um, uh, z n squared plus uh, c and then you calculate next value and next value so if the value is um, goes to infinity it's outside of Mandelbrot set. If it's um, stay always uh, inside the uh, circle uh, with a radius of two, it's uh, inside Mandel Mandelbrot set. So obviously, all these black things, it's um, dots inside the Mandel Mandelbrot set. And uh, the coloring of this thing, it's um, based on how fast uh, dot is escaping from the Mandelbrot set. So this is a very simple short explanation. If you want to know deeper, just read the, the um, Wikipedia page. So, and I'm going to start uh, writing the code. And actually I'm quite curious about C. I think C is dot on the, on the plane, right? And uh, uh, Z0 starts from zero. Okay, so I little bit uh, screw up the explanation but hopefully I would not screw up the implementation so this is my Emacs let me make the folder which I'm call, going to call mandelbrot and uh, here I'm going to make main CPP and I'm going to use as I mentioned um, SDL so let me uh, open things what I had from my previous um, videos because I don't know, remember all things so we are going to use SDL SDL2 SDL.h so I'm going to initialize it I'm going to use only video this video what equal uh, print error oops and return negative and uh, Here's the SDL fit, actually, then I'm going to make the V2. So I'm going to have dimensions, width and height, 1280, 720. This is my video resolution for my video. And borderless. Okay. And also I want to set the position of the window which I figure out also in the previous video. It's going to be 65 by 126. So let's check how it's gonna work. Oh this was very fast. I think I got it right. So now I'm going to start drawing. So actually I do not need to clean, just um, at the end I'm going to do, um, I'm going to run sleep delay for, I don't know, two seconds. And also I need to run clean up. Yeah, looks good. Now I'm going to iterate through all pixels and y equals zero less and now I'm going to convert this thing to complex double um, and it's going to be C uh, do you remember the formula it's like this right so I need to set C and C is going to be x and y but I need to convert x and y to something so why it's easy it's going to be from negative to till positive uh, to uh, because um, as we know 
if it's uh, greater than two, it's going to be for sure outside of Mandelbrot set. So everything outside of two is, um, is going to infinity. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to first of all make it double, then I'm going to delete it to height, and then it's going to become from zero to one. So I need to multiply by four and subtract two. So for this one it's easy. For this one it's a little bit uh, complicated because um, basically I will have similar formula. I will have similar formula. Mm -hmm. Right, multiply by four, like this. So now I need to, is it STD complex? I think it's STD complex. Uh, uh, now I need to Z and Z I'm going to instantiate as zero zero. Now uh, I'm going to have some count which I'll start from zero and um, let's do four mm, while count less than one to fifty five. Let's do it like this for now. Z equal Z multiplied by Z plus C according to this formula. If Z ups Z greater than two break and now I'm going to draw the pixel and I do not remember how to do it in SDL. SDL underscore draw no renderer SDL draw pixel uh, I need to SDL to render draw point render draw point renderer coordinates um, X and Y and I need to set color it's um, SDL set the color and it's going to be count 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 0x I'm hoping that's it I think we're done yeah we got the model broad set but uh, it's kind of shifted for some reason what did I do wrong all oh, right um, I did this thing wrong so I need to what I need to do I need to either add or subtract let's try first so I was wrong I need to subtract sometimes it's easier to run experiment than figure out what I need to do yeah now it's centered so let's um, play around with coloring and basically uh, what I want to do is um, have um, um, some sort of array I have no idea how to spell palette. <laughs> One L double T palette at fifty five and uh, so uh, three. So let's make um, palette size one thousand. Should I do it like this? Yeah. I zero equal. Mm, so let's try um, I less than um, less than this thing I divide by 2 divide by 3 multiply by 255 and multiply by 3 in our case it's just 255 and uh, for this one um i less than palette uh, it's going to be zero if i less than two palette divide by three it's going to be i minus palette divide by three uh, multiple uh, yeah like this and uh, last one to multiply by uh, zero um, otherwise 
Um, uh, uh, what I want to do. Mm, I minus two multiply. Is it spelled correctly? Yeah. Palette size um, divide by three. Uh, multiply by two fifty five. Divide by divide by three. Size. And here is going to be count zero, one, two. So this is um, sort of coloring, right? Can I do it like this? Um, or just get, yeah. Certainly I screw up something with colors. White outside is dark, inside it's blue. And, mm -hmm. Let me check um, this thing first. Hmm. Zero, one, two. While count less than palette size. Uh, palette size, zero, one, two. Should be zero here. What's going on? Zero, zero, two. Did I compile? Oh, I did not. <laughs> so simple. No, it's nothing wrong. This one is working. So why is this one is not working? Uh, let's check it out again. Nope. It's almost, it doesn't work inside. Right. Because count is equal to palette size. And, uh, um, we, we can make it simple. Yeah. Now I'm going to use this palette. So divide uh, one third. Something like this. White's yellow. I want it inverted. You know, I, I'll keep it zero. Two colors is good enough. Yeah, something like this. So you can play around and you can, of course, implement some zooming things. Um, yeah, I mean, I can show how to do it uh, in a moment. Basically, it's here, this thing, right? Um, bit height, um, I can add some coefficient here. Just basically, yeah, I already have coefficient right there is one and I can put like 0 0.5 0 0.5 and zoom it slightly here's it so anyways there is a ways to play with it thank you for watching and bye